Hey guys, Caleb Thornton here back with another video. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at another set of more budget-friendly pudding keycaps. Today, these ones are from HK Gaming. I did recently take a look at a set from HyperX. And these are obviously just gonna be a competitor with them, sitting around the same price point and offering a lot of the same features. So in today's video, I will be comparing those slightly, but I will have a future video after I check out a few more pairs of keycap sets and I'm mashing them all into one big comparison video to help you guys make the best decision. So make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for that one. Right out of the box, these are all packaged together in just one big resealable bag, which is not quite as nice as like HyperX's shrink wrap where it keeps all the keys individually and they're nicely organized for putting on the keyboard. Also, a nice thing about it too is if you wanna reuse that bag, it's as simple as just resealing it. So if you wanna throw other keycaps in there or take these off, eventually you do have that bag still available to you. Um, though they can like slide around and hit up against each other in the shipping process, but, um, they still look completely fine as they're just a durable product. This is a complete keycap set, so 104 keys included, same as the HyperX one, also still set in that OEM profile, as well as being that double shot PBT, which just means your legends aren't gonna start shining because it is a separate layer of molding for where those are showing on top of the board. Along with that, they don't include a keycap puller in here, so you might wanna invest if you're picking these up and you plan on replacing something on your keyboard like keycaps. Might be worth just getting one of those cheaper wire keycap pullers to help you get through that, make your life a little easier. Just in case you're not super familiar with what a pudding keycap is in the first place, just wanna briefly mention it like I did in my Hyper X video, the main characteristic or thing that differentiates it from a normal keycap is the fact on the lower half of it, you have this frosted housing, which creates for a cool RGB shine through, kind of creates a cool separation between the top plate of your keyboard and the top of the keycap, also making for a smoother transition as it's going through those frosted housings. Let's go ahead and pop these on a board now and see how they look. Okay, all the keycaps are on the board now. Let's say so far, I'm very similar in looks and feel to the HyperX pudding keycaps, which is a good sign, of course, because you're not expecting pudding caps to be varying so much in feel and looks overall. They do have that same like spot on the back of every single keycap where it's like, I'm guessing it's where they broke it away from the molding. This leaves like a little bump or notch on the back side of the keycap. Not a big deal because you basically will never see it when it's just sitting on your desk, but if it's gonna bother you, I just like to point it out because it is definitely present. And on the back of the keycaps, as far as looks, the only thing I can really tell is the frosted housing on these ones from HK Gaming versus the HyperX ones look like the frost housing is a little bit more transparent or a little bit more clear. Um, so probably gonna result in just a little bit better RGB shine through on them. Um, besides that though, very similar. And I'll be showing of course some um, clips on top of this of what it looks like. Um, overall, really nice. Um, gives that same aspect to the board of just really fluent RGB transitions as well as just a lot of RGB shine through, which creates for a cool look if you like RGB. And just one other big thing that's probably gonna be a uh, shining point for a lot of you guys is there's no like branding on the keyboard itself with the Hyper or X ones, they did have that smack like in the middle of the space bar, which is unfortunate. With this, you don't have any HK gaming branding on it. Like if you're looking at this, you don't know what company it's from. So probably gonna be a, a shining point for a lot of you guys, and I'm happy to say that there is none on here. You can find these as cheap as $18 on Amazon, which is what I picked them up for, but they usually are gonna be sitting between $20 to $25, depending on what kind of discount they have running at the time. And one of the biggest things I would say, like with them when looking at Amazon, is they just offer a ton of different colors on there, which in comparison to HyperX, like they only have like the monochrome black and white color scheme. So if you have something specific going on in your setup or maybe you wanna mix and match different colors of them, it's definitely gonna be available to you as they're just a lot of different options. Wrapping up the video here, I think HK Gaming definitely gives you a great set of putting keycaps here. I'm also giving you, you know, a great bang for your buck, only being around $20, $25, the same as the HyperX. And as far as like choosing between those two options, I would say the main things, like differences I can notice right out of the box is the translucent housing seemed a little bit, be a little bit more clear on these maybe creating a little bit more RGB shine through with these versus the HyperX. And then of course, I think what's gonna be, you know, a pretty big selling point is just not having HyperX branded spacebar. Whereas with the HK gaming set, it's more neutral and gonna fit in with your setup without having something standing out like a sore thumb, like a logo slapped on the middle of your product. Um, besides those though, um, I think they offer a lot of the same things, um, same feel, same looks overall. Um, it's gonna come down to more personal preference on what you just prefer as an individual and what's gonna work in your setup. They do offer, again, a ton of different colors with the HK gaming ones. So you can mix and match those or choose a different color that you're not gonna be able to find at the HyperX ones either. So that'd be an appealing point for you guys. Of course, I just have a generic black set, so nothing too exciting with mine. Um, again, though, I'm gonna be doing a more in-depth comparison of these versus the HyperX ones, and then also a couple couple other sets of putting keycaps in the near future here. So make sure you subscribe to take, 
stay tuned for that video. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. And if you want to help support the channel, please do hit that like button for me as it really does help me out. And do hit the subscribe button if you want to stay tuned for more content just like this coming up in the very near future. Any questions about the key graphs, definitely let them in the comments down below. I'll try my best to get back to you quickly, but I'll see you guys in the next video.